now let's create a glass material for path tracing so we are going to click on this now we are going to go to our content drawer let's go to our material folder let's right click here and let's create a new material let's name it to m underscore glass underscore pt for path tracing now let's just apply this to our selection here so we are going to scroll down and apply to our glass here now you can see it's looking something like this here let's just double click it here now let's just create our glass material here so let's just dock it over here we are going to right click and promote base color to our parameter we are going to right click and promote the specular also we are going to right click and promote the roughness here now we are going to change the properties of this material so let's just change from opaque to translucent here let's just make sure that it is two sided here and scroll downwards and just change the lighting mode to surface forward shading now let's just right click on opacity and promote that to parameter as well and now we are going to add our index of refraction for glass to do that again click on the main material here just search here for refraction and as soon as you do that you will find a refraction method here just change it to index of refraction and now just right click and promote this to parameter as well okay now let's just save this master material let's just close this here you can see it's looking like this here now let's just create a material instance so we can tweak the values for the glass so just right click and create a material instance here now let's just apply this instance to our perfume glass here now we are going to double click it here we are going to turn on all the parameters here first we are going to give a base color of 0 0.05 so you can say it's looking something like this in the color now let's just click ok let's just give a opacity of 0 0.02 or 0 0.05 yeah. okay now let's just change the index of refraction of glass which is 1.53 or 52 let's just give a small bit of roughness of 0 0.01 and let's just take the specular to 1 now let's just save this material now to apply this material to see it in path tracing you need to switch from lit to path tracing here and now you can see we are getting something like this in our path tracing mode you need to tweak settings of path tracing as you guys can see it's taking a little bit long to render the path tracing so let's just add a post process volume and let's just reduce the samples for the test purpose so let's just switch to lit mode let's add a post process volume by going to visual effects and adding a post process volume let's just search for path here and we are going to activate all these samples here okay now we are going to reduce the max bounds to let's say 8 and we are going to go for samples of 200 here let's just deactivate our depth of field for now so we are going to deactivate our depth of field also so yeah. let's just deactivate that so let's just go to our focus settings here and let's just make sure it is disabled here and now we can see this glass is looking really good let's just see from another angle also so let's just switch to our perspective and here we will see how it is looking so let's just do a path tracing here also and now you can see we are getting some really good glass material here and if you want you can apply the same material which is applied here this is our material glass and it will be like a empty bottle or something like that if you want you can do that also and it's looking good by default and if you feel that your glass material is dark here what you can do you can go to your post process volume you can search for your path tracing here and you can basically take the max bounces to like 16 and you can see it's getting lighter here and we are getting this caustics also in our glass material.